how to start this video. It was meant to be something completely different. If you didn't know already, I'm currently on maternity leave and I've been on maternity leave for the past four months. My little one is just about to turn four months old. Maternity leave in the UK is up to one year and I'm currently four months into mine. As part of your maternity leave, you get to do something or you get to do days which are called kit days, keep in touch days. I originally planned to vlog that day, but to be honest with you, I wasn't feeling very well. And on top of that, it was pretty much just me all day just on, on my desk, attending some meetings. It's pretty much how my day goes when I do work. There wasn't anything interesting to vlog, but I still wanted to make a video because I still think that if you are, maybe thinking about going on maternity leave or just about to go on maternity leave and not too sure what you're gonna be doing. It's pretty much just one of those things where you do get the option to attend work if you want to. And you know, it's not something that you have to do. It's a, it's a choice, these keep in touch days and you get 10 of them to do throughout the, all of your maternity. Those 10 days you get to do, you can get paid a full day's wage, which is, is nice when you're on maternity leave because the maternity pay in the UK is not great. Luckily, we do get some pay, but we don't get anywhere near our salary. If you didn't know already, I do offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions over on my super peer. If that's something you're interested in, then there's a link in the description below. I've also just updated my website with a bunch of benefits of what comes with one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So if you're just starting up in your UX career, or maybe you want a little help with your UX career, then check out the links in the description below. So the reason for kit days is so you can use them to keep in touch with your maternity, so you can ease yourself back into work. While you're on maternity, you cannot do any work whatsoever and I mean you can't even check your emails you can't look at project status you can't you literally can't do anything you just have to walk away from it completely and you can't even do any training you have to use your kit days to do some training courses so personally I wanted to do some training turns out I can't do any training so you can only use your kit days to keep in touch with everyone in work check slack emails and stuff like that you also don't have to do a full day's work you can do half a day if you want to but anything that you do in considered work you will have to do as a kit day and that's even like if you wanted to attend a company meeting it's insane so yeah just a little heads up on that I will leave a link in the description below with information all about maternity and kit days so I don't get anything wrong. Uh, the UK government website is your best bet so if you want to learn any more go check that out. So what have I been doing throughout maternity leave? I designed my, my new website. I started it off in Figma and then I went and built it in Webflow. Now I personally love Webflow and I had so much fun doing it to be honest with you. So if you want to check that out there's a link in the description. And I've also just been keeping up with just my Instagram and obviously looking after a form on board which is so much fun. But they tend to sleep a lot. I've just missed being creative. I missed doing UX. So the only way I've been able to do it is by, by doing stuff for myself. Hence why I decided to redesign my website. But if you're anything like me and you enjoy your day-to-day -day job, um, maternity leave is one of those things where it's completely different. In a good way, I'd be denying or lying if I, if I was saying that I wasn't missing doing UX work. I had to leave my projects because obviously, you know, having a baby is one of those things you have to step away from work and it's been a journey not knowing what's going on with those projects or where they are or, or when they're going to even go live, if the timelines have changed, if something is completely different to what you first thought it was going to be. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's going to flourish and, you know, keeping an eye on the live sites because that's all I'm allowed to do. The only thing you can do is keep yourself entertained while your little one's sleeping. When they're not sleeping, it's great. You get to have so much fun. You get to be a loving parent. But when they're completely asleep, uh, it's, it's hard when you, you need to find things to do, especially if you're so used to, to being in work. I haven't taken a break from work for 10 years. Having my first child has been an experience, a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I'm so glad I was, I was able to do it and I'm still able to do it. But during nap times, I am a little, a little bored. So my plan is moving forward to try and do a bit more videos 
I mean, I've really missed making videos and I tried to make videos throughout my pregnancy. You can see the difference in my personality from being pregnant because I didn't have the best time. My plan is now to really start doing that, obviously in between um, feeding baby and having so much fun with baby, but in between them as much as possible, I'm gonna try and try and make some videos and just keep up with, with design because yeah, I genuinely do miss it. Let me know what type of videos you want to see from me. I'm starting to think of some really cool things that I could possibly do. Um, maybe do some react videos to websites or, or do some critiques of websites, which I which I tend to do anyways, do it in my, my role. Maybe I can bring that over to YouTube and, and maybe you can learn uh, of how to critique websites from a usability point of view. I do have some exciting things coming up. I'm working on a new project uh, that's going to be in the works for a little bit between me and, and my friends. So we're going to gonna do something there, something exciting. I also have a newsletter. So if you are interested in that, then sign up. There's a link in the description below. It's called Handover. A nice little pun on handing over your work. I did plan on vlogging my day, but there was no point in vlogging my day because I spent the whole day on meetings. I'll pop up here at the agenda if you want to know what my keep in touch day was like. I am planning on doing more. So if anything interesting comes up or if there's anything exciting that I can share, then I will definitely maybe do a video then. But for this one, we are just going to say that I plan to do it. I didn't do it and there's a reason why I didn't do it. But yeah, more videos coming soon. And I need to stop looking over here and look bit. It's, it's just not natural. I'm not used to using my phone for, for videos, but yeah. Until next time, bye.